All right, welcome back, everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft II 1 vs. 1 replay cast. We've got ourselves some more IEM. Uh, basically, these videos that I'm doing are actually just, in a sense, a countdown to the main event. I don't know the exact amount of days, but I know it's, like, not long. It's, like, a week maybe two weeks till it starts so i figure i'll keep casting as many of these replays as i can up to then and then maybe later on i'll cast some of the other replays from uh, the main event itself which is really awesome but no these qualifiers they're they're just the gift that keeps on giving here we've got ourselves a terran versus protoss on the map kairos junction spawning up in the top left hand side of the map it's ting's neeb neeb uh, the north american hope spawning down the bottom right hand side of the map it's extend special Okay, pardon me, bad phrasing. Both these guys are the North American hope in a sense. Neeb's the American hope, Special is uh, the Mexican hope. And uh, starting things off pretty aggressively here, he's uh, just, or not really aggressively, I was, I got my bases mixed up, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Special's proxying, but it's actually just on his side of the map. Doing the uh, sort of standard Terran thing in which you're like, all right, I'm just gonna hide my barracks, throw that Protoss off a little bit, but he is following it up with a double gas. And then, uh, so just gonna be going for that. Whereas Neve, on the other hand, going for his own variant of a proxy. The, uh, basically, the individual proxy gateway build is what Neve is going for. And this is, this is an interesting build, guys. Like, this is a build which is actually so strong at times. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a build that's so strong at times. Basically, what Neve's done is he's proxied one gateway out on the map. And, uh got one gateway at home he's actually making a zealot to start things off we'll see if he cancels that to make a stalker or not but uh basically what neeb's doing is that he's going to be chrono boosting out two stalkers one from his main base one out on the map and since it's a proxy special's not going to know that this is coming his way whereas uh the proxy for special is a little bit more common he's going for one reaper going for a second but those aren't really going to help him out versus double stalkers which is what neeb has gone for here neeb's chrono boosting out two stalkers now as zealot's going to be crossing the map special's going to find this with his reapers start uh, working away on that Just start chasing that zealot away we'll see if that zealot goes down but the main story is neeb's going to be crossing the map with this stalker that's just finished up and it's not going to take long to get there since it was a proxy, whereas now special, suddenly he's got to deal with this proxy that Neeb is throwing up right now. A stalker's going to be crossing the map. Neeb throws up a single pylon here, I guess, just to sort of keep eyes on his opponent, provide himself high ground vision. But, uh... Neeb has been poking Special a little bit here. Picks off the 1 SCV, but there is indeed that uh, bunker, so Special... Oh, look at that. Good micro. Keeps that SCV alive in there. I feel like I'm talking quick for this one, guys. This game's heated up very, very quickly. Just uh, the builds are happening. There's no doubt about that. Special, I imagine... Well, uh, I was going to say, I imagine he'll be flying his barracks back home, but he's actually opting to make a third Reaper, which isn't something that you see every day in TVP. But I guess he feels that he just needs units out and needs them out now, but... Uh, that extra reaper pops on out, gonna be crossing the map, whereas Neeb was planning to get up an expansion on his side of the map, get up an expo, get up a stargate from the seam of things, then just uh, sort of feign light pressure onto his opponent. Special's opting to get a siege tank here, which maybe indicates that he's a little bit uh, more afraid of what Neeb is going for, or, what, or that it's basically indicating one of two things usually, because tanks, they're either used for pushing or defense. If special, he probably doesn't think it now since he's, you know, spotted the Nexus and everything. But, uh, I guess just gonna be getting out this tank. Might be able to use it in a counter pressure later, but, I mean, Neeb's not gonna be getting too much done this game. Tank's just, uh, gonna roll on back. That supply depot's getting rather weak. Neeb's gonna be able to pick that off, which is a nice find for himself. So, a good find there for Neeb. Doesn't want to be too greedy hanging out on the map, but basically, uh, just a bit of light pressure. And then uh, we'll see where this game is going to go from there. The one adept is going to be shading on in here. I don't think he'll finish that. No, he won't. But the question is, did Neeb spot the star the starport? He hasn't. So uh, he doesn't know that it's a Banshee on the way, but a Banshee is indeed on the way. Meanwhile, three Reapers are crossing the map for specials. Sometimes Reapers are pretty good versus workers, but there is one Stalker getting on that should be able to help push these away. The Oracle's also here, going to activate his Pulsar Beam. Going to start working away on these Reapers. Looks like they'll all be going down. So Special loses all three Reapers just for two probes. It's debatable whether that's worth it. It's rather early on in the game, so I can see how... Uh, he wanted to make that happen because worker damage is really cumulative or cumulative. But uh, how he uh, 
it sort of yeah it just adds up the earlier you do the damage the better it is for you now uh, the banshee is crossing the map for special though the cloak is a little bit behind me has a phoenix on the way has a shield battery on the way just uh, getting one in his main base none of his natural so his probe set is natural could be a little bit exposed here as special is going to be waiting for this banshee to come on out but oh man is this phoenix going to find that banshee it flies on by does neeb react to that i mean there we go he does so he's going to know that this banshee's on the way and this is disastrous for special there's a banshee there's an oracle this this uh, air unit's getting absolutely nothing done here and special was hoping that would get a bit of counter attack damage done that's a fair bit of an investment there now, uh, there is another Banshee out for special. That's going to be able to move across the map. But here we see Neeb's actually planning a bit of aggression. That Banshee might have been spotted there. The Phoenix are here. Oracles are here. It looks like Neeb's just going to be looking to bring the pressure right to special. Maybe looking for a kill move here. There's two tanks for the Terran player, but there's two Phoenix there as well. There's double Oracles, and that's a lot of firepower for a Protoss, even just uh, on these lower tech units. Now, that being said, the Phoenix may be a little bit late to the party, not lifting up those tanks there. Actually, the tanks haven't been lifted at all. Lifts up the Cyclone. Oracle's coming on in to help out here, so those tanks get, did get off some pretty decent shots there. Oracles are getting a fair bit of damage done still. They pick off all the Marines. They're able to start slaughtering these SCVs, and it looks like uh, this one Oracle with a bit of energy may be able to pop off a couple more SCVs. A few more Stalkers coming on in here, but the Phoenix not lifting this Siege Tank. It's a bit of a mistake here for Neeb. I mean, if he uh, did a double lift, he could have gone for that, I feel, but... Uh, not making that happen so a bit of an interesting attack there for Neeb but he still gets a ton of damage done here special is coming in with a banshee to get some counter attacks go counter damage going on but there's a shield battery there's nothing to worry about for Neeb special sees a third base going up for Neeb and he knows that he's just in a rough spot he lost a lot of units his production is not great just one 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 going on right now one barracks one factory one starport he's making banshees he's making a couple another cyclone here but I mean, uh, it is, it's rough for special. That Banshee's going to be getting picked off. And, uh, yeah, just uh, looking very, very good for uh, the Protoss player. Just that opening, like, uh, Neeb sort of worked out better for him, I feel. And then that attack, it did get enough done. But we see uh, these three Oracles for Neeb. Poking special a little bit. Oracles come on in. Phoenix lifts the Cyclone. Nice micro by Neeb. And, oh, my God, is he just going to kill all the Marines with his Oracles? It looks like he will just manage to make that happen one of the oracles does run out of energy but the phoenix gonna be able to pick off that cyclone no repair and special knows it's over so neeb taking the first game like it's nothing but uh welcome to uh north america guys both those players proxying that game but uh we will get on into the next one in just a second here Just one second. I closed the folder which had those games, and we kind of need the we kind of need to get into the next game. So silly me on that regard. But this is uh, from the North American qualifier, so I believe yes, it is indeed Neeb and Special North American qualifier. But uh, all right, here we are. We'll see who's going to be able to take the next game. We'll load right on into that. Neeb and Special, just such great players, respectively, of their own race. Really, like, top North American Protoss. I don't think there's a doubt about that. M. Canning may have something to say about that, but uh, we'll see. Uh, Special, on the other hand, there's no... I mean, maybe Masa, he's a good Terran, but definitely not had the results that Special has. So these these two players, just so, so good of their own race. And uh, just uh, competing here. If you're the two best in North America, you're going to meet each other fairly often. But here we are. Up in the top left with the 1-0 lead, it's Ting's Neeb. And his opponent in the bottom right-hand side of the map, down 0-1. It's special. By the way, guys, I feel like we've uh, just got... We've got a bit of uh, downtime before, as this game's going to be heating up. No proxies or anything that we're able to sniff out just yet. But uh, I feel like I'll mention before this uh, really heats up... Uh, the next Afrika World. For those of you that sort of follow me on Twitter and other things and keep up uh, basically a freak of world it's a tournament that i do every two weeks and uh falcon paladin and i cast it uh basically it's four fantastic players play out a couple matches the vods eventually make it to youtube but if you guys want to catch that live that's going to be on saturday at 6 p.m pacific so uh there's a link to that in the description below and i feel i don't i don't promote that sort of stuff every single video that i do but we got a second of downtime here i thought you guys 
might want to know. You can catch the games live, interact with us as I'm uh, casting live and whatnot. But uh, no, just uh, some great games. The lineup for this week is going to be Stats, Rogue, Cure, and Sort of. So some incredibly good players. Arguably the best lineup we've ever had in this tournament. Like, it is, it is sick city. But uh, all right, we'll see how... Uh, this next one's gonna go here. This match between Special and Neeb is starting to heat up. Neeb got up the gateway, getting up the expo already. Special, on the other hand, just going for a standard Reaper expand from the scene of things. So nothing out of the ordinary there. And uh, like I said, just a normal game. Neeb hanging around with his probe, confirming that CC goes up. But uh, you're pretty much guaranteed the CC is gonna go up. I think long gone are the days in uh, which a Terran might be like, ah, oh, the Protoss left with his probe, I'm gonna throw up two more barracks and let's give her. But <laughs> that's, that's that doesn't happen ever, honestly. So uh, Neeb just keeps the probe around, might go back into harass with it later, or it looks like he's bringing it just right on home. Special's even scouting out with his SCV, a little bit untrusting here of his Protoss opponent. But, uh, okay, now uh, Reaper moving across the map for Special, gonna be getting over there, whereas Neeb has a Stargate going on. Factory on the way for special. Command Center just getting up. So every everything normal here, the reactor is on the way. And uh, there's that Adept out on the map for Neeb. Gonna be able to uh, try and to shut down that Reaper. We'll see if Special gets on in for the scout. Let's see, how's the wall for Neeb? Looking pretty good. This Reaper is going to toss a grenade. Doesn't quite see the Stargate, but look at that. Special dives on just enough here. He knows that he can't get past that pylon, but he just runs up to it so he can confirm there's a Stargate on that pylon since he saw the other pylon, I believe. So yeah, he's uh, pretty sure that uh, there's going to be some sort of tech on there. And he knows it's a Stargate now, which is nice to know. Pretty common in uh, most matchups is the Protoss Stargate, but knowing is uh, half the battle, and uh, you don't want to be, you don't want to have that ominous feeling in a game of StarCraft 2 up against someone like Neeb. But uh, Special's Reaper still hanging around. Just uh, fly, just uh, going on there. We'll see if it's able to find anything else, but nothing else on the map. It may dive on in later, try and get a probe, but for now, the Reaper's done his job. He knows uh, what's coming his way. That Oracle is out on the map, but we see Special. He's already got out a Widow Mine that's buried out on the map, hoping to be able to bait that Oracle in there because this Reaper's just hanging out so Special, just uh, trying to bait Neeb. But uh, there's also a Viking on the way out for Special, a Cyclone out on the way to shut down this Oracle. This Oracle's flying across the map here. Is Neeb going to run on into this, or is he going to fall for it? Here goes Neeb, gonna see that Reaper. Doesn't go for it, doesn't even think twice about going for that Reaper, that Oracle. Just flying on in. We'll see if it's able to get anything. Activates its Pulsar Beam, but ooh, not getting anything so far. A Little bit of lag there, I do apologize about that, guys, but in the end, the Oracle does just make it out scot-free. Mine's gonna be repositioning here, hoping to uh, catch that Oracle or catch a Oracle. It's sort of a guessing game of where that Widow Mine's gonna go. Neeb, he's flying on over with this Oracle. It's not gonna run into the Widow Mine though. Although there it goes, does Neeb react? No, he doesn't. Oracle goes down to the Widow Mine. That definitely hurts as the Protoss player. So special repositioning of that mine, nicely done. Mines trade pretty darn efficiently versus uh, Oracles, even if it goes down afterwards. Also burns the energy of that other Oracle. So uh, nicely done for special. That being said, he does know that Neeb is onto a third base, so he's got to play the game from there. He's got a Raven on the way. He's getting up tanks, getting up his own third CC. So not going for a crazy two base all in or anything that like that. Special is going to be playing the macro game a little bit. With that in mind, though, Neeb has two Oracles out on the map. Got some more Stalkers marching on. Might be looking to pressure Special a little bit. Special's just got Marines out. Got Marines, a Cyclone, and a Viking. But those aren't really going to help you out too much versus Mass Stalkers. The Bunker actually gets delayed. All the Stalkers are here. They're going to be able to start whittling down these Marines. Might be able to pick off that SCB building that uh, building that uh, Bunker there. But, uh, yeah, Neeb getting nice little trades here. And they're not able to pick off the Cyclone. Has to micro back those Stalkers as they get locked on. But really showing the efficiency and effectiveness at dispatching with uh, Stalkers or at, at uh, negating the damage there from a Cyclone when you've got multiple Stalkers. Neeb just microed that back so well. As this is going on, the Oracle's getting a bit of damage here. Neeb gets 10 workers in total in this game, so that's actually some fantastic damage getting done for the Protoss player. 
Oracle flying around. Now, uh, Stim is on the way here for a special. Blink on the way. Plus one on the way. Robo on the way there. Now, uh, four gateways. So, uh, Neeb just powering up as a Protoss player. Now, the one thing that concerns me for Neeb a little bit in this game is the fact that he, he is just getting up his Robo, the fact that he's just getting up Blink and plus one, or a special. On the other hand, he's going to have Stim, guys. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know, or, or for those of you that have never played StarCraft II, I like to imagine that most of you have at least watched a little bit. Otherwise, if you're a newcomer, welcome. But uh, in StarCraft II, if you're a Protoss player, you generally need something more than just the units that come out of your base structure, the gateway. Stalkers and Zealots, they're a little bit better when they have their upgrades, say, Blink, Charge, but they generally lose effectiveness. And at this point in the game, Neeb's just getting up his first gateway upgrade as Special Stim is just right behind that pretty much. They're going to be finishing up at a very similar time. So if Special moves out, Neeb's just going to have those Stalkers, even with their upgrade, to try and deal with that. I mean, he's going to have a couple Sentries out as well, and Neeb has fantastic Stalker control, but versus a bulky Terran, it's it's concerning. Definitely concerning for the Protoss player. He's trying to get out an Immortal. I wouldn't be surprised if he's Chrono boosting that out because Neeb's got to know he's just going to need something. He throws up a fourth base as this is going on, but the thing is he's not even going to have charge, which will help him buffer. But he's just starting to research that now. He's going to have out a good amount of sentry energy, but this is uh, this is rather concerning for the Protoss player as uh, Neeb, with these tanks tagged by that Oracle Revelation, he's going to see the Terrans now moving out. Neeb's going to have to deal with this somehow as Stalkers will be able to buy time versus the Bio. That's the one area in which Blink Stalkers really excel when it comes to fighting Bio. Delaying them, picking off units, blinking back, gets a Marauder, trades it out for a Stalker. But uh, Neeb not having the most success here, microing these Stalkers. They're just uh, too flimsy here versus this Bio. He's having to blink back repeatedly. And all of a sudden, the special is going to be getting set up on Neeb's base from the Seema things. He's even bringing a couple of SCVs right now. Neeb, he tried to delay the push of special, but special just said, no, I'm going for it. And go for it. He went SCVs, or, or probes, pardon me, are starting to fall in the main base. Not sure what that was, but the main concern for Neeb right now is special. He's getting three bunkers set up outside this base. There's no charge to help break this. Raven gets picked off by the stalkers blinking forward. Charge is going to be finishing up soon, but it's 15 seconds away. I don't know if Neeb's going to be able to hold on that long. Get some force fields down, running some zealots forward to buy himself some time, but these bunkers are going to be going up, and then I don't know if Neeb's going to be able to break that. Army supply is even as special is starting to stream across the map right now. Stalker's blinking back. Neeb's going for it. He's got the charge finished up just now. Even the Oracle's coming on in. Just going to die there. More Zealots are warping on in for Neeb, but it seems he's wearing pretty thin right now. They're starting to get a bit of face time here with that bio. The bunkers bought special a bit of time. Is Neeb actually going to hold this? It's looking close. Got to pick off those siege tanks, which are getting a lot of damage done. Hasn't focused that down. There he goes. One of them falling now, but for now, Neeb does need to retreat, warping in more and more Zealots desperately. Army supply. Neeb is down. There's no doubt about that. Got these charge lots going to be chasing back this bio, but needs to shut down this tank. However, uh, special, I mean, his bio is just going to be able to kite these zealots, and now we're going to start seeing that sort of down on supply Protoss fighting that, uh, fighting that Terran bio, and it rarely goes good for the Protoss team, trying to warp in more and more zealots here. I mean, the zealots are good at chasing down the bio, they're not terrible in small numbers like this, needs microing with the warp prism the best he can here, but, uh, Oh, he's still just so far down in supply. Neeb's got an upgrade lead with that armor, but I don't know if he's going to be able to hold on to this base right now. He just needs to get up more and more warpins, but his production is just not enough. Even with eight gateways, it's not enough to overpower this bio, which is just trading more efficiently. Neeb's been bleeding out. Special's bio is doing well for itself. The medivacs have been a godsend keeping this bio alive. And now Neeb looks like he's got no choice but to abandon the base. He can't keep it alive. And that uh, definitely hurts Neeb. He did get up a very early fourth base, which is helping him out. But as this has gone on, Special hasn't skipped a beat. He's got his own fourth base on the way up. Neeb warping in a lot of sentries. He's getting out Colossus, which are very good versus a Bio Terran. So there may be hope for Neeb to try and get some more efficient trades as this game goes on. But got to be careful with these Colossus. Oh, no, Neeb with a Colossus too far forward. One of them actually gets picked off there 
by the Terran player special with a good opportunity there taking it and suddenly Neve out on the map with a couple sentries and a Colossus I mean Colossus are fantastic versus Bio but they need a little bit of buffer or something and we saw Neve there he lost a Colossus he fought without extended thermal lance he got a little bit too far forward and now that's just hurting Neve even more he would have had three Colossus instead of two he just got up to a third, so you guys do the math. Four Colossus, definitely better than three, just because of the way their damage scales. It just melts the bio so, so quickly. This game, though, is absolutely insane. Need trying to get up a fourth base, or I guess reestablish a third, in a sense, as he lost that. We'll see if he's able to make that happen. He's so far down on supply, though, compared to Special. Special is teching into Vikings. He's doing what he needs to do. The pressure was so high on Neeb that he never got a chance to tech and to say hi Templar, which would base, which are basically the sort of second stage of Protoss AoE. Colossus are generally the first. They shut down the bio, but once there's Vikings, you need the high Templar to shut down them. And even with that being the case, special, even if Neeb had high Templars, he's already thinking to that stage. He's getting ghosts. He doesn't want to let this game go. And with such a supply lead, it's going to be a little tough for him to do so. Stalkers come forward for Neeb, get a cancel on that command center, which is nice for him. But we'll see what else Neeb is able to make happen. War Prism going to be flying right over Widowmine. That's going to hurt. Prism will survive just barely, but that definitely does hurt the Protoss player. Neeb warping in more Stalkers, but I don't think that's what you want at this stage as the, ter as the Protoss player. I mean, even with superior upgrades, which Neeb isn't going to have, he's going to have plus two for a time, so he'll actually have, okay, a slight upgrade lead, but Special's heading into his own 2-2, two -two, so in the long run, Special's going to have better upgrades. He's just maxed out. He's got a killer army right now, and he's rolling up towards Neeb's fourth base that he just got up, and this is such a critical location for the Protoss player. Neeb's saying, all right, I can't fight this army. I'm just going to base trade. So he's going to be giving that as all. He's stepping forward with the Stalkers right now. Got to... No High Templar or anything. Neeb's trying to get up a Dark Shrine, which helps out Protoss and base trades all the time. But, I mean, especially, he's just got so much. He's got more bases than Neeb at this point. Neeb was behind in this base trade, and it's mainly Stalkers for Neeb, so it's not too concerning. Lots of Vikings are out. They can work away in the Colossus. Neeb actually not fighting with those extra Colossus. That's a bit of a mistake. Stalkers are trying to pick off Vikings and Liberators, but there's just so much Terran here. I don't see it happening for Neeb. He's got to just... I mean, he needs to make some massive damage happen as his third base goes down back at home. He's just got nothing he needs to win the game here, but I'm not sure he's going to be able to make it happen. One of his Colossus not even helping in the fight there, and even if it does help, there's so many Vikings here to work away on that. Need getting some good force fields going down, but now at this point, it's pretty much just Stalkers and Sentries versus some very strong Terran Bio. There's just counter damage going on back at home. Need might be able to force that back. But uh, Neve only on two bases versus Special. He's on four or five bases. I mean, even if he loses this command center, which he very well may, he's got himself a much better, much better prospect of an economy than Neeb. And it uh, looks like Special had enough. He's going to be looking to pick off this final Colossus coming with all the bio here. We're going to get a nasty surround Neeb. What's he going to do? Maybe try and blink into the main base or something? No, all of his stalkers are trapped. And I think that's going to be lights out for the Protoss player. Force fields won't save you. GG, Special ties it up. All right, we'll get on into the next game. I said this was a best of three, and they're tied one to one. So we'll get on into that next game. All right, here we are. We're in the next game, though. Neeb versus Special, one to one. There we are. Spawning down the bottom left-hand side of the map, it's Ting's Neeb. And in the top right-hand side of the map for X10 Esports, it's Special. These two guys, just such great players. That last game, I mean, it sort of just went sour for, for Neeb there. I guess his opening, I mean, he committed to, like, the stalkers at the start of the game there he made three oracles and that shows how that's a commitment guys 
that Neeb delayed, say, his robo, delayed his maybe charge and blink, which would have helped him deal with that normal timed push for special, because that wasn't, like, a super early push for special. That wasn't, like, a two-base push. He had a third CC behind that. And usually, if a Protoss just macros up normally, let's say if Neeb had done that, he'd have had some better tech. Maybe he could have had a Colossus out. Maybe he could have had charge out. Faster plus one, something like that. Maybe a couple more units. So uh, it just comes down to the build in that game. But uh, anyway, getting on into this one. Sir Fall, a bigger map. I mean, that last map, definitely not a small one as well. But uh, special, I mean, he did show that he was willing to macro up in that game, which is exciting. Neeb, on the other hand, was actually the more aggressive one in a sense. I mean, just starting it off that way. And then he really had no choice but to counterattack. Probe, just uh, gonna be hanging around, scouting out for Neeb. Seeing Special's command center forces him to place it a little bit off location. This is just Neeb being a pain man. Oh, Special. Special, you don't want to lose your SCV though. Oh no. That SCV's got to run. Look at this. Neeb being a major pain. I think Special's trying to bait Neeb up that ramp so the Marine could kill it, but Neeb not falling for it. Going to be heading on home. Or I guess Special not wanting to show that he did indeed cut a Reaper this game, which is interesting. Just going for the Marine, getting right into that reactor, getting the factory up. Allows your factory to be a little bit quicker. The Marine builds a little quicker. I guess you've got your reactor up slightly faster. It's just a minimalistic thing, but... I guess if you are going to try and play that sort of catch-all st Terran style or hyper-aggressive Terran style, but as I say that, Special just likes to make me look a fool, and despite opening with a Marine first, goes for a Reaper on his reactor barracks. This isn't something we see every day. This is going to be later than your usual Reaper, but uh, we'll see how well it's going to help Special out. I mean, uh, He's making Marines behind this, but the timing for the Reaper, I mean, it's going to be out in, what, five seconds? But the Stargate's going to be done in ten, so whether Special's going to be able to get a important scout off with this Reaper, that's a valid question. There's a reason why the first unit of Terran builds is a Reaper, because you want to be able to know exactly what's coming your way as soon as possible. We're a Special opting for a bit of a different timed Reaper here. This is interesting. We'll see if it's going to be able to give him the heads up that he needs or get something done. Maybe just uh, was a bit of like a on-the-fly decision to make that Marine first maybe try and catch that probe, but Reaper is going to get on in here. Is it going to be able to see the Stargate? There's a Depth Shaden after it. He chooses to go south with that Reaper. It goes down, though, does not even confirm the Stargate, and as a result, that first Oracle is now out, and Special is none the wiser, has no idea what's coming his way. I mean, he confirmed the natural expansion, with, or I, I mean, he didn't. He can probably assume that there's a natural expansion based on that pylon and whatnot, but no special. I mean, an interesting choice there. Not the end of the world or anything, but uh, he already has out that cycle, and he's got out, uh, yeah, we'll have out that cycle, and he's got out a good number of Marines, able to shut down that Oracle. Oracle's going to come on in, actually just tag the cycle and tag the production and uh, get on out there, Neeb just wanting to have all the information as he throws up a fourth base right now. And uh, we'll see. Neeb getting up another Oracle, making it three once again. I mean, some Protoss players, they like to build more Oracles than the average Joe, but uh, Neeb getting up uh, this Oracle. Banji on the way. Here comes in the two oracles for Neeb. Are they going to try and pick off the Cyclone? Oh, looks like there's a bit of a pause there, but uh, wow, Neeb actually gets on in with these oracles. Picks off the Cyclone. Two oracles can beat a Cyclone. Cyclone's uh, efficiency at killing oracles and flying units comes from their mobility and ability to stay alive. Oh, Neeb a little bit overstaying his welcome there. Does lose one of the oracles. Other one gets bruised on up, but for Neeb, I'd say that was pretty decent. That was a decent trade. Goes on in, picks off five SCVs and the Cyclone. So, I mean, one for one, Oracle for Cyclone, that's sort of, like, acceptable, right? But uh, Neeb now also with these two Oracles flying on into the main base. We'll see if he's able to get anything else. Maybe pick off an SCV or two. Oh, a little bit of Miss Micro there for Neeb. Definitely wants to get whatever he can flying on by with these Oracles. Picks off another SCV. Got to be careful here, Neeb. Oh, that Oracle does go down. So, yeah, Overstand is welcome a little bit once again. And uh, 
Gateway is on the way for Neeb, so he is going to be going up to this 8 gateway style. Getting charged, getting armor on the way. Now, uh, this this is a little bit different. Say, if Neeb had been opening up with uh, Blink Stalkers, you're generally more exposed as the Terran. But uh, Charge, it's got a little bit more muscle to it when it comes to dealing with a push. We'll see if Neeb's even able to deal with this, though, regardless, because Special is moving across the map. He's got these Banshees, he's got these tanks, and a ton of Marines rolling on up. And Neeb's going to need to be able to, def to defend his third base. He's going to have sentries, which I suppose can force field. He's getting up shield batteries at this location, but Charge is not yet done. And that's where it's concerning. Neeb's warping in Adepts, I guess, just to try and shade on top of this. He is going to shade forward with these Adepts. Now, Special has stepped forward. Looks like uh, Pylon gets picked off there. Neeb's going to be going for it, though. Lots of Adepts stepping forward, eating a ton of tank shots. The Banshees are getting worked on by the Stalkers. Looks like they will be able to pick off the Stalkers. The tanks are staying alive for now. One of them got picked off, but there's another one rolling on up. So still two tanks, which is a problem for Neve. And suddenly he's got a ton of Stalkers, but doesn't actually have Blink this time. So uh, funny how that works for Neeb. He is going to have Charge and plus one finishing up in just a few seconds here. So that may be all that he needs. And it looks like Neeb did manage to send special packing this time. And, uh... Managed to make that hold. It was looking a little bit dicey for him, but with enough units, the choice to warp in the Adepts really was interesting, despite not having Glaives or anything. But uh, I guess he just figured that he needed to have enough of the muscle as the Protoss player just to get right on top of the tanks, close that gap. Neeb's now looking to counterattack as well. It looks like just got a lot of Stalkers and Zealots. I mean, this is a lot of Zealots. We'll see if this is going to work for him. Looks like Neeb's taking a bit of counter damage from one of these Banshees. So they're going to have to respond to that, but no, Neeb's actually going for it. He's trying to get right on top of Special. The Stalker's stepping forward. Keep in mind, there's no stim for Special. Lots of Widow Mines are out there. One of them gets picked on off, though, and uh, the other fires a shot, but Neeb expertly split off, and suddenly we see Special pulling SCVs to buffer for these Marines, which have to push back the Zealots and Stalkers, but Special is hurting as this goes on. He may be able to push back the Protoss player, but maybe not. GG, Neeb able to take it. And, uh, all right, yeah, what a fantastic best of three between these uh, Terran and Protoss players. Fantastic game between them. Now, uh, if you guys did enjoy this cast, make sure to hit that like button if you made it to the end. If you enjoyed this or enjoyed this cast and you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm putting out content fairly regularly. Just wanted to go into a bit of a blurb like that, guys. I'm recording this video later on because, I mean, uh, I, I upload pretty much uh, every day at this point, but... I may miss a day here and there just uh, with uh, life going on and such, but I thought I'd give you guys a heads up. I'm trying to be as regular as I can with it, but uh, I just thought I'd give you guys a bit of a heads up there. And also, as far as this cast goes, I d noticed that I did say like, uh, I did say like, uh, but, uh, and uh, also one other word I kept repeating. Just uh, so honestly, I'm going to work on things like that. I'm still always trying to improve my casting. So feel free to uh, leave any feedback like that in the description. I, I tried to catch myself, but it's hard when you're talking a lot and commentating. So uh, if you guys do have any feedback for my casting, feel free to let me know in the description and whatnot. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.